I reached home in the evening and I realized I lost my wallet. And I went back to the same restaurant. It was so far. Uh, I had to search my wallet and I'm just not able to find my wallet. And I very well remember that I, I think I left my wallet in the same restaurant. But to top it all, that was supposed to happen. So I came to Germany on a job seeker visa at the end of 2022 October and I managed to find a job for myself here in Germany. But definitely it was not a very smooth ride. It was with lots of ups and downs, lots of challenges and lots of mistakes that I've done as well. So in this video, I'm going to talk about everything so that you can learn from my mistakes and you can avoid doing those and then you can find a job easily and faster. It took me four months to find a job. So uh, let's talk in detail and understand what was my end to end experience and what do I feel about job seeker visa. Should you come to Germany on a job seeker visa or should you not? And at the end of this video, I'm going to share a very, very important tip with you. And that's going to help you in your job search journey, be it in Germany or anywhere else. So stay tuned. So for those of you who do not know what is a job seeker visa, job seeker visa of Germany allows you to come to Germany on your savings, stay in Germany for six months and find a job for yourself. Now, please remember, you cannot work on a job seeker visa. You have to convert your visa into a working permit or a blue card visa to start working in Germany. Now, let's talk about my journey. So I didn't know anybody in Germany, not even a single person. And I came here in October of 2022. And everybody told me that's not a right time to come to Germany because it's a winter season and November and December there is less hiring that happens because of Christmas and the holidays and the hiring slows down at the end of the year and it resumes at the start of the year. But the visa that I received and the appointment that I got, it was in such a way that that was the only date that was available for me. Now I landed in Berlin. I chose Berlin because I was looking for jobs in IT, in finance, in different sectors and Berlin uh, being the capital, there were a lot of IT companies there. So uh, I thought Berlin would be a right start for me, which it was. And I booked a place for around two weeks through an Airbnb. So lucky that I got another room in the same Airbnb and I was able to extend my stay over there for more three months and four months. So uh, I also spoke to him that, you know, I need a city registration because city registration is very important. As soon as you get a job, you would need your, to show your city registration. You would need to open your bank account and so many other things. And all that is interrelated to city registration. So first tip for you, if you come to Germany on a job seeker, make sure you find an apartment that gives you city registration. If you do not do that, then later you will struggle to find something and it will become very difficult for you. So you need an apartment which gives you a city registration. So then uh, I came here and I started my job search journey. Now it was not easy. I used to apply for so many jobs in a day, but still at the first three to four uh, weeks, my applications was, was getting rejected again and again. Even though when I'm reading the job, it is very similar to what I've done, but still my application kept on getting rejected. And then I did a lot of research to understand why is my resume getting rejected. Every week I used to update my resume with a new format, with a new uh, additions and modifications. And that's why I have created this another video that tells you how do you create your right resume? Uh, how do you add the right keywords in your resume? So please watch that video in case if you're finding a job in Germany or anywhere else. And then what happened when I was uh, applying for a lot of interviews, I started getting interview calls. And once I started getting interview calls, I started feeling a little confident that, okay, at least my uh, our resume is now getting selected. And then the whole interview process started. Now, a lot of the companies, I was finding a job in HR. And a lot of the companies rejected me in the first round or the second round because I didn't know German language. But still, I did not stop because I was very sure that there'll be one company who would 
uh, need uh, to find an HR without German language. So I kept on continuing. The one tip here is in case if you are looking to find a job, you need to apply for minimum 30 jobs in a day. Yes, that is correct. Do not give up. I used to apply for minimum 50 jobs in a day. I used to not get up from my laptop if I'm not applying for at least 50 jobs. Now, if I apply for 50 jobs in a day, by the end of the week, I've easily applied between 250 to 300 jobs. I'm not asking you to apply for 300 jobs, but I'm asking you to apply for at least 100 to 150 jobs by end of the week. And that's when you will start getting replies and you will get start getting two or three interview calls. So when you're coming to Germany on a job seeker visa, consider it that this is your task. You are not going to get it from your laptop unless you have applied for minimum 30 jobs in a day. Now, uh, once I started getting the interview calls, I started feeling much more confident. Uh, but what used to happen is that the interviews used to go uh, in the second level and the third level and still I used to receive the rejections which is a normal process because it took me some time to even understand the mentality of the interviewers, what kind of questions are they asking, what kind of answers should we give and uh, me coming from an Indian background, I always had the word we in all my answers. You know, whenever uh, an interviewer used to ask me, what have you done in this role? I said, we used to do this uh, because I was handling a team of 30 members. So it was always we for me. And that's something that I learned that you should always say I because they are interested to know what you have done in the project, not what team has achieved and these are small little tips which I started getting uh, from different people I spoke to and I understood how should I modify my sentences, what should I tell the interviewer. So another tip for you, in case if you are giving an interview, don't use the word we, use I. Tell them what you have done in the project, how are you capable of uh, joining the team and working on this project and not as a team. That will really help you a lot. And then when I was giving these interviews, uh, I used to feel very hopeful that yes, I've reached the second level and I will get a response now. But actually what used to happen is that even after the second round or the third round, your interview, your uh, application can get rejected. What happens here in Germany is they have two, three people who go until the last round and they evaluate all the candidates and then they take a decision. So even though if you've cleared every round, now you will feel that it's only the last round that is left to be cleared. It's not like that. In fact, after the last round, all the interviewers will get together and talk about you how was your behavior in all the interview rounds? What were your technical skills? And that's how they are going to take a decision. And they will also compare your profile with the other candidates. So even if you've gone to the last round, that does not mean that you have you will uh, get the job. It just means that uh, you are progressing in the interview, but you are still uh, there. You have to wait to get the final decision. And then I also received few interview calls from all different cities because when I was applying uh, for job, I was applying for all over Germany and not just restricting to Berlin. So that's another tip for you. Please make sure you apply for all over Germany and not just restrict to one city. And in case if they want to call you for the interview, they will pay you for your uh, travel and even the stay if that is needed. Now what happened is this became a process for me. It became a system. Every day I used to get up early in the morning around 5 or 6 a.m. sometimes and then apply for job in the first half and second half. And then I used to also have these interview calls, you know, sometimes one in the morning and sometimes one in the afternoon. To be very honest, I also remember there was one Monday I had eight interviews on a single day. Yes, from morning 9 a.m till until 6.30 p.m. I was just giving interviews. I had so many interviews here in Germany. But uh, that's the process, you know. I, I mean, even if I'm in an interview process at the last round with one company, I never stopped applying for the kind of a person I am. Unless I see something in return, I do not consider it as done. For me, I need a written proof that I've received a job. So I kept on applying and I kept on applying. 
And then there came a time when I got very frustrated because I used to just sit in the room, just apply and I was not able to concentrate. So uh, I started going to this library in, uh, in Berlin. It's a free uh, library uh, where students can go and uh, they study there. It's a university library. So I used to go there and I used to start applying from job from the library or sometimes I used to go to a cafe and sit in the cafe and just apply for a job and take an interview. So I started bringing some change uh, in, in my routine because I was getting very frustrated. And then on the weekends, I used to take a little, I used to relax a bit. I used to also go to the Gurudwara here in Berlin. They have a beautiful Gurudwara and I used to go for a walk or a run. So it kept, it kept relaxing my mind, listen to some music and in the evening Evening, sometimes I used to also go to uh, a restaurant or a cafe or a pub just to relax my mind but during the day I used to make sure that I'm I'm working and I'm just searching for a job then after uh, all this I also decided to start uh, going to some meetups now if you are in Berlin or any other city but Berlin per se has lots of meetups and it could be any meetup it could be a meetup of a UI UX designer it could be a meetup of a blockchain uh, company or any meetup but your whole idea is to go there to meet different people and the more people I met the more ideas I started getting and as soon as I used to meet uh, go for a meetup uh, I used to give people my LinkedIn profile and I used to tell them if there's a job let me know I'm here to find a job some were really helpful some were not so helpful but every person I met gave me some information and that information and that hint helped me in uh, going in another right direction it just polished me to find the job that I was looking for so uh, do that go to meetups and go and meet different people so that that will keep giving you a lot of ideas especially in your industry in your area and in your domain and uh, try to get in touch with the HRs and the company uh, there are a lot of sessions startup sessions try to go there and try to just pitch yourself or just understand how the environment works here in Germany because it's a different country altogether and you have to also start understanding how people behave how people talk how people treat each other and that will help you in your interview process so that was the third thing that I started doing go for meetup so please go ahead and do that even if you've come here to find a job for yourself and then the interview process can get very very cumbersome trust me it can get very tiring uh, there are times when you know you went until the last round and still uh, you did not get uh, hired and now it came to your mind that oh my god you have to start the process all over again but that is the case you have to start the process all over again but this time it will move faster it will not take so much time here in Germany, in some companies, the interview process can go from one to even three months. You know, it's a long process. Usually there is a first round, then there is a, a case study round, then there's an HR round. I'm going to create a different video on what are the different interview steps here in Germany. However, it can take some time. And once, uh, you know, you are at the last round after two months, and you realize, oh my God, I'm rejected and I have to start the process all over again. Well, you have to. Just make sure that your mind doesn't play with you and tell you, no, you cannot do this and you have to go back. This is too much for you. That used to happen. I used to start getting, uh, I used to get these doubts that, oh my God, it's just impossible. I just can't find a job uh, because that's the only thing I'm thinking the whole day. And at the end, nothing is happening. Uh, but to to solve that, I started meditating. I started having a gratitude journal. I used to write and start staying positive. I used to speak to my friends that that motivates me, that my family members, they used to tell me all positive and good things. So I used to surround myself only with a lot of positivity and tell my mind not to trick me and tell me to go back because I know it was a very, very difficult time. In all this process, there were already three months but uh, people told me that during December, they, you, you know, you will not have a lot of jobs, which was true. Uh, the applications were getting slowed down, but I was still giving interviews. 
do you know even on the 22nd of december 23rd of december i gave an interview so a lot of companies were not hiring but there were still little these few companies who were hiring there's still people working so don't listen to all this noise you do what you are supposed to do you are here to find a job and you should just concentrate on that okay from all this whole experience you just need one job and you will find that one job if you have a right mindset then in all this i uh, there were almost 3 months that was over and at the back of the mind your time is ticking because after 6 months you if you do not get a job you have to go and this and that but at the end of the third month starting of the fourth month uh, i i went for a job interview here in berlin and uh, i was almost selected the person even told me uh that you know they they really liked me and they are going to release a job offer and i was very happy so i decided to treat myself and i went to a italian restaurant uh to have lunch and while i am having lunch uh i came from that restaurant i reached home in the evening and i realized i lost my wallet and i went back to the same restaurant it was so far uh i to search my wallet and i'm just not able to find my wallet and i very well remember that i i think i left my wallet in the same restaurant but to top it all that was supposed to happen and i had only 20 uh, euros in <laughs> with me all my cards was in this wallet which i've lost and now i have no idea how to survive for next few months and i just went blank but i calmed myself down while all this was happening i was also giving other interviews uh, and i was invited in frankfurt for another interview which i had to go for and i had only this 20 euros uh, then i made a friend uh, in berlin and i made a friend to one of the meetups that i went to she was a startup uh, owner and we became very good friends uh, and uh, we i met her we went for a coffee and i told her i lost my wallet and she was very sweet to help me uh, she lended me 50 euros and uh, then uh, in the meanwhile i spoke to my bank back in india uh, they they were very sweet i was very surprised by the service hdfc bank has and they actually uh, my forex card had some money into it they actually sent somebody with that money to my place i was very surprised well that is indian banking for you you know but anyway to cut long story short so i managed to arrange some money in the meanwhile i was trying to arrange uh, uh this my other cards uh, and blocking my cards and still giving interview and now i have to still go to frankfurt for this interview so while i am supposed to go to frankfurt i have now arranged a little money i felt sick i got fever <laughs> i got fever and but i had to give this interview so i took lot of medicines and i went to this uh, i went to frankfurt i gave this interview and uh, i took lot of pills the interview went fine that evening i came back to berlin and after two days i had another interview in munich so uh, and i'm sick at this time i'm having pills but in between all this uh, i also went to munich and i came back and that week uh, when i was sick one week before i lost my wallet and that week i received a job offer from that company in frankfurt and to top it all i also received the job offer from that company in munich so all this struggle was definitely worth it and all those last struggles of losing my wallet and falling sick it was worth it basically they say right that god is testing how much do you really want this and that is exactly what i want to tell you when you are coming here on a job seeker visa how much do you really need this and if there is something that you really need there is nothing that can stop you from getting a job in germany or any country you are in if you are dedicated enough so with me there were around 10 15 people who came i joined certain groups uh, and i got to know few other people now from these there are few of them who got a job who stayed here and few of them even went back 
but it doesn't mean that job seeker visa doesn't work it just that how dedicated you are there is a 70% success rate of job seeker visa so basically it is all in your hands if you have a dedication if you know you want this then there is nothing that can stop you from getting a job meet in any country or even if you come to germany on a job seeker visa so don't think twice and go for it and i was also in my mind what if i don't get a job well if i don't get a job i can always go back to india and continue my job right like i can find a job i was working in india uh, for so many years i can easily get a job in india i was just giving myself 6 months and those 6 months i decided that i am going to make sure that i am giving to give my 100 200% to find a job and that's exactly what i did now if i tell you a uh, few tips uh, that how can you get a job sooner well the main thing is to have a right cv to understand the title you know in, in back in your country you can have a bigger title but here your title your role should match to the job app, a job role that they have published then you should have a dedication apply for 30 jobs in a day and make sure that you are learning from every interview that you are giving and do not get carried away with all this new country berlin vibe frankfurt vibe you know i see people start partying a lot and so your whole dedication of finding a job misses and all you're doing is uh, partying because it's a different country altogether so do not get carried away with all that once you get a job you are going to stay in the country for a long time and then you can enjoy everything right so don't get carried away stick to your uh, purpose why you came to germany and i'm very sure you can find a job in case uh, if you want to know more and you want a one to one consultation from me then you can book my slot or you can also follow me on linkedin as i keep hiring and i keep posting lot of tips and tricks on hiring and also i'm going to publish lot of information on my channel on uh, the interview process about germany so that you can find your dream job sooner i hope i'm helping you and if i am please subscribe to my channel at the end i want to say everything is worth it if you give your 100% so keep continuing have the right dedication and there is nothing that can stop you in getting what you want bye have a great day